Whether it's on air, 740 AM, on your phone, iHeartRadio, or online, KTRH.com. Get the information you want easily. Better convenience. I can do it at my time. Houston's news, weather, traffic, and talk. Uh, I love it. News Talk 740 KTRH. Hey, Lois Melconian here with Houston's Morning News. Now that we've actually broken the record, that's right, 15 straight days at least in triple digits, and we might even break yet another record today. That's all anybody's talking about. The Texans won last night in preseason football. Wasn't that great? No one's talking about that today. They're talking about how hot they are. The Astros are on a seven-game losing streak. Even that is not garnering as much attention as the heat is. No matter where I went yesterday, whether I was grocery shopping, shopping with my kids, going to work out, everybody was talking about the heat. It just seems like you finally have realized it after this many days of this kind of oppressive heat. And we heard this morning from Terry Smith as we're discussing weather and what's going to happen that we may get a slight sea breeze break by the end of the week. But that's about it. So yes, I know Governor Rick Perry was big on the news today in terms of what's happening in his presidential race. But still, as we're here in Houston, we're feeling the heat. And one more way, we can't water except for two days a week. How are we going to figure out exactly what those days are and who will tell on us if we haven't done what we're supposed to do. That's kind of another matter. But the fact is water restrictions are also in place. We're in a drought. It's hot. I'll just stay inside for the rest of the day. Join us tomorrow morning on Houston's Morning News.